North and Allen led Joseph into an elevator that looked like Christmas tree ornament. When the door opened, they all stepped out into North's factory. Joseph looked and to be at ease. Elves toys, too. He said, It's nothing personal, North Allen. What you all do, it's just not my thing. <laughs> Allen replied, Man and Moon says it's your thing. We'll see. With big footsteps, North and Allen hurried through the factory. Joseph struggled to keep up. He was distracted by everything he saw. Slow down, would ya? <laughs> he said, painting. <laughs> or even panning, of course. I've been trying to bust in here for years. I just want to have a click, a good look here. <laughs> North refused to slow. What do you mean, bust in? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Joseph replied. I never got past the Yetis. A Yeti nearby pounded his fist into his palm and growled and war a warning rawr, rawr. Joseph grinned. <laughs> oh hey Phil <clears throat> Alan was impatient with Joseph's attacks. Keep up, Joseph, keep up <laughs> Joseph tried to keep pace, but there was so much to look at. Yet he's were building toys and moving Packages while elves were testing, piloting, flying machines. Whoa! <laughs> Joseph dodging a duck toy. No, I always thought the elves made the toys. <laughs> we just let them believe that, said Nord. Then Alan, then for Joseph, glanced over his shoulder. Joseph followed his gaze. To see the elves tinsel and Alan looked over to him too and said, encouraged, very nice, keep up the good work. <clears throat> As they went deeper into the factory, Yetis and elves brought North and Alan's toys for inspection. One Yeti held out a blue robo when he was painting it. <laughs> North said, I don't like it, paint it red. And he looks and see a bunch of blue robots are all together and you know, oh, and he bangs it against the table. Then a booming voice says, Alan announced, Step it up, everybody! <laughs> As the factory roared with increased energy, North, Alan, and Joseph entered North's workshop. North's shelves were filled with Sketches, parts, and toys. There were blocks of ice on his workbench from which he carved toy prototypes. <laughs> when Northern Allen rolled up, Northern rolled the sleeves, he could see the naughty and nice tattoos for Joseph. Joseph could. Allen took a plate from an elf and offered a slice of fruitcake to Joseph. <clears throat> and Alan asked, North asked, fruitcake? Uh, no thanks, just refused. <clears throat> then he threw, then North threw that play across the room and slammed into the wall with a crash. Then he started to hood his eyes at Joseph. And you're not cracking his knuckles. Then we get down to tacks of brass, he said with a growl. A tax of brass? What? Joseph softly to himself. And then <clears throat> and, and yeah, a gust of wind closed the office door behind Joseph and it locked itself. Nor now and moved closer toward Joseph with each step forward. Joseph stepped back on backward until he Pressed against the locked door. Who are you, Joseph Frost? Alan asked. What is your center? He 
Poe, Joseph, and the Jazz. Ah, Joseph looked down at you know, Joe, um, Alan's thick finger and asked, My center? Well, you know. Now, let's see here. If Man and Moon chose you to be a guardian, you must have something very special inside. Hmm. He picked up a scent of Russian nesting dolls carved into his likeness. North did. Here, he told Joseph, this is how you see me, not very big, intimidating. But if you get to know me a little, doll to Joseph. Well, go on, Alan told him. With a curious expression, Joseph set aside his staff and then opened the first doll. Inside was another North doll. This one was a cheery Santa Claus with red cheeks. Hmm, you were downright jolly, Joseph committed. He, you know, he commented, Ah, uh, but not just jolly, he encouraged. <clears throat> Joseph continued to open the dolls. Each one got smaller and smaller as Joseph removed them. They were all versions of North, but slightly different. I, I am also mysterious, North said, pointing to one doll, and fearless, he pointed to another, and caring. One more to go. And at my center, the smallest doll was no bigger than a jelly bean. There's a tiny wooden baby, Joseph joked. <laughs> Look closer, Joseph. What do you see? Alan asked. Um, you have big eyes, Joseph guessed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. North being big eyes, very big, because they were full of wonder. This is my center. It is what I was born with eyes that have always seemed to wonder in everything. With a wave of his arms, the toys of North's shelves burst to life. Jack in the boxes, popped trains, sped around the room. Soldiers began to march. Toy planes zoomed around. An elf was lifted and carried by a balloon. Eyes that see to wonder and everything. Eyes that see lights in the trees and magic in the air. A toy plane stalled in front of North before taking flight again. And then I met my uncle and he helped me fit, put together this North Old Castle and everything and make my workshop better. And this wonder is what I put into the world with me and my uncle and what we protect in children. It is what makes us guardians. That is my center. North looked at Joseph and same as Alan. Alan asked him, what is yours? I don't know. Joseph stared down at the tiny wooden Santa in his palm. North reached out and then closed Joseph's palm around the doll slightly, telling him to keep it. But Joseph turned and looked at the window of North's workshop, seeing the two fairy and two double D were outside flying away. And then the other guardians, Jack, Easter Ed, Easter Bunny, Sandman, San Eddie, came down. And to then also to Easter Ed, he announced, We have a problem, my friend, in a panic rush. Trouble at the Tooth Palace. 